giving us the bold access to your throne of grace. Thank you for instructing us to be careful for nothing, but by prayer and supplication, make our request known unto you. Your mercy and compassion, O Lord, never cease. Great is your faithfulness, and your mercies are new each morning. Now concerning tonight's meeting and agenda, may your peace rest upon us all as we meet. Father, please be with our city council body as they are responsible for making important decisions regarding our wonderful city of Taylor. May your wisdom reside upon the hearts and the minds of our city officials and leaders. May justice, equity, honor, and truth take the lead this night. And may anyone who wishes to have their voice be heard during the course of this meeting do so respectfully. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, maker of heaven and earth. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. The next item on the agenda is Pledge of Allegiance. I'd like to ask Councilor Rose to please lead us in pledge. of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next item on the agenda is the roll call. Roll call, please. Ms. Rose? Here. Mrs. Brangiello? Here. Mrs. Linton? Here. Mr. Johnson? Here. Mr. Ramek? Here. Um, Mr. Clayton is excused. Mr. Geist? Here. Mayor Lilly? Here. Mrs. Bauer is excused. Mrs. Topo? Here. There are six members present. We do have a quorum. Next item on the agenda is motion to accept the agenda. Chairman Geist? Councilwoman Brigham? I make a motion to accept the agenda, adding um, 7.22 to the end. Uh, in that would be a motion to approve the recommendation of city attorney in the closed session uh, 9622 for claim number 08B268205. Is there support? Support. Motion by Council and Brandy, and supported by Council Witten. Discussion on the motion to accept the agenda as amended. Hearing none, all in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. The yeses have it. Motion carried. Item 5.2 is a motion to approve the acceptance of the minutes of the meeting held August 16, 2022, and dispense with oral reading. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Ramick, supported by Councilman Witten. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say yes. Yes. All in opposed say no. The yeses have it, motion carried. Brings us to item six, uh, Mayor's Communications. Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just have a couple announcements. Uh, the first one is I just really want to uh, thank the DPW and the Parks and Rec Department for uh, jumping in action when we had that storm last week. Um, basically, all of them had just left and went home, so I appreciate all of them coming back and jumping in and helping out the best they can, and they did a great job, and they're still finishing up little places here and there. Uh, but again, I want to thank them for all the hard work that they did. Uh, the other thing is, is that on September 23rd at 6.30, uh, the Michigan State Police is going to play the Taylor Police Department in a Wilbury softball tournament, and um, it's free for anybody to come watch. And if, they're, if you're interested in sponsoring anything, you can reach out to the uh, Taylor Rotary um, but that should be a good time on September 23rd at 6.30 p.m. at Rotary Park over by the Michigan State Police Department. All right. Any further open business items? Oh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That brings us to item 7, which is the regular agenda. Going first with item 7.1, the motion to approve Western Wayne County Fire Department Mutual Aid Association for annual dues in an amount not to exceed $18,539, funded through General Fund Fire Department Contractual Services. Motion to approve. Support. Motion by Councilwoman Brady and supported by Councilman Ramick. Is there any discussion? Hearing 
none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is have it, motion carried. Item 7.2 is a motion to approve emergency training solutions for various fire EMS training classes for an amount not to exceed $15,000 funded through General Fund Fire Department Training and Transport. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilwoman Whitman, supported by Councilman Ramick. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. The yes is have a motion carried. Item 7.3 is a motion to receive and file a quarterly report from police and fire pension. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Ramick, supported by Councilman Brandana. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is had. Motion carried. Item 7.4 is a motion to approve fire protection publication sole source to purchase fire service training books in an amount of $5,890, funded through General Fund Fire Training and Transport Fund. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Witten, supported by Councilman Ramick. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is have it, motion carried. Item 7.5 is a motion to approve the termination of the former Consolidated Lumber Brownfield Site Plan originally approved by the City Council on May 15, 2001. Motion to approve. Motion by Council Brandana, supported by Council Johnson. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. Yes, this have it, motion carried. Item 7.6 is a motion to approve the purchase of new rental skates at the Taylor Sportsplex from Jackson Ultima Skate Company, low quote, in the amount not to exceed $25,324, funded through TSX ARPA funds. Make a motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Johnson, supported by Councilman Whitten. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. Yes, it's added. Motion carried. Item 7.7 is a motion to approve Falk Manufacturing Company low bid in an amount not to exceed $7,410 for the purchase of snow plow blades for the 2022-2023 winter season funded through vehicle maintenance, repair, and maintenance account. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Ramick, supported by Councilman Whitten. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is have it, motion carried. Item 7.8 is a motion to approve American Hydraulics Incorporated preferred vendor to repair the factor truck in an amount not to exceed $7,900 funded through vehicle maintenance repairs. Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is have it, motion carried. Motion to approve Versa Lift, Midwest sole source to repair the boom truck in the amount not to exceed $29,897, funded through Capital Outlay Act 179. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Witten, supported by Councilman Johnson. Is there any discussion? Councilman Brady. Chairman, I, I didn't get a chance to ask this in the um, in the site session, but so sole source means that that's the only person that can fix this. Is that because that's where we got it from, or do we have enough? You know, um, you know, do we have a warranty on it? And this is warranty work. 
discussion 